Hi everyone, it's your girl Nunu the Hair Diva and I'm back with you with the first face of the day. Now this is for Shop My Stash week number 10, makeup look number 1. So I'm going to zoom in and let you see my makeup and then we're going to talk about what I use to create this look that you see before you. So let me zoom in just a little bit here and let you get to see my eyebrows my eyeshadow my eyelashes the color on my cheeks and my lips ta-da <laughs> alrighty so I know it's my lighting that's making me look a little oily or greasy. As I look into my mirror off to the side, I don't see any oil or grease seeping through my makeup. So what I'm going to do is start by telling you what I have on my face. As always, I have my Simple Hydrating Moisturizer. And for a primer, I am using a product that I normally use as a foundation and it is my Tarte BB Tinted 12 Hour Primer and the color of this is tan and today I'm trying it out as a primer and not as a foundation and I just applied it with my fingers and so far so good for the foundation that I have on my face I am using the Bare Minerals bare skin and my color is in bare walnut number 18 and with this I try the different technique I use a sponge so I use a wet sponge and I apply just three drops to it and then apply that over my entire face and so far so good I think that type of application works a little better than the brush for me as powder over my face uh, well before I do the powder maybe I should tell you all of the concealers that I use so to conceal under my eyes I am using my Tarte Smooth Operator waterproof concealer and it's by Tarte this color is deep and this is what that looks like now even though this is the color deep it has kind of like um, more of a red tone base which was very good for me I do like that however it worked a lot better up under my eyes than it did really concealing uh, some of the blemishes so what I end up going to to help me some more under my eyes for a little bit of brightness I am using my Maybelline Age Rewind the eraser treatment and this uh, is for dark circles so I applied this and as you can see I am definitely loving this I have been using it so that is for the brightness under my eyes so before I actually tell you the, the powders on my face, on my eyebrows, I have my e.l.f. brow kit. This is in deep. I sculpted my brows and then I did clean up with my L.A. Girl Pro Concealer. And I decided to use the one on the bottom and this color is Fawn. And that's what I use to uh, clean up my brows and just sculpt them out a lot better. Alright, now for the powder that is on my face. Up under my eyes, I went for my L'Oreal True Match. This is in the color Classic Tan. I am liking this. It didn't crease or anything, so I am enjoying this. Um, I wanted to see what it would work like up under my eyes and so far so good as my all-over powder I'm using my black radiance press powder this is in the color bronze glow 
this is a brand new one I have completely finished one so this is the second one that I am working on and I just love that stuff all right now let's get to what is on my cheeks before I start to move on to my eyes I am using my La Femme palette and these are the colors and the colors that I chose to use were I believe I am using three I decided to use this orange right here and to give myself a little bit of highlight I decided to use this color next to it which is called natural and then for a contour I use this next color right here and this is sienna so orange for a blush natural for highlight and sienna for contour and that is my la femme blushes now let me talk to you about my eyes since that is the main reason why we are in here today for a uh, shadow primer I am using the Urban Decay shadow primer and I'm using this bottom one here this color is Eden and I applied that pretty much to my entire lid and that gave me um, kind of like a neutral base to start with after using that I applied my 24 hour color tattoo in number 50 edgy emerald and this is what that color looks like I applied that all over the lid and I did I tried to keep it out of the crease at the top I didn't want to go too far up and you know make myself look clownish so after applying that I chose to use my CoverGirl eyeshadow this is in Kaboom Kelly and I will open that up so that you can see it this is Kaboom Kelly and I went over the edgy emerald over my entire lid with this color then to blend out the color a little bit I decided to use another CoverGirl eyeshadow and I believe this is in the color Swiss chocolate and this is what that color looks like and Swiss chocolate does have some gold shimmer in it and I really liked how that blended out because it still gave me a natural finish but it also gave me a little bit of shimmer as well on my eyes and I did like that up under my brows for a highlight I am using once again another CoverGirl eyeshadow and this is in the color champagne and this is what that looks like and this is in my inner tear duct as well as up under the brow and so far so good I am very happy with these colors up under my eyes I'm using my Jordana liner and this is in the color purple and then I smudge that out with another CoverGirl eyeshadow and I believe this is in the color silver lilac and that's what this looks like and that's what I used over the purple Jordana liner up underneath my eyes to smudge that out on the top of my eyes for my liner I'm using um, a L'Oreal infallible liner it looks like this comes in a glass jar like this and I'm using black and I am loving this gel liner and I also gave myself a wing eye if you didn't notice for my mascaras I am using three the first one that I put on it is my first time using it it is the Miss Manga Voluminous, and I need to use it a few times just to see how it will work on my eyes um, I would say so far so good but it's not something to cry about <laughs> the next uh, mascara that I'm using over the top of that is my Maybelline Great Lash 
big and this is in the color very black so I have used this one as well for my lower lashes I am using my Clinique lower lash mascara and I will show you the brush wand is very small I don't use it that often so I think I will possibly get more than three months use out of that now for my lips on my lips I have four products as a liner I am using my covergirl lip perfection liner and this is in 205 smoky For a little bit of moisture, I am using my Color Whispers by Maybelline. This is number 15, Some Like It Taupe. And I will show you what that looks like. That's the color of that. And this works very well on its own as well. As my lip color, I'm using my Iman lipstick. This is in the color Opal. And this is what that looks like. Nice, beautiful brown. And I will give you a swatch of that. I really like that color. And to brighten it up just a tiny bit, I went to my oldie but goodie, and that is my e.l.f. Facial Whip. Um, I only use this on my lips, and this is in the color Pink Lemonade, and it gave me a nice little shimmer in the middle. I'm learning them lip color combos. I really like that. The last thing that I have on my face is my NYX Matte Finish Spray, and this is in the matte finish. And I sprayed that over my entire face to help me lock in my makeup. Alrighty, so before we end this video, let me tell you the one product that I am no longer going to use. And that's because I'm getting tired and frustrated of it. I tried to use these Kardashian lashes and they come in a box like this. I think that's the correct way. They're Kardashian, Kardashian Beauty Lashes. And these are what the lashes look like. Now as you can see, there's one still connected to the box. And then there was this one that I tried to put on. I actually had the eyelash on. And I'm noticing that my eyes already get red when I apply my makeup. And eyelashes just make it worse. So I will just stick to applying 15 to 30 coats of my favorite mascara. <laughs> so most of the lashes that I have, I decided I'm going to put them in my giveaway or love mail box. Um, I'm not going to try to force myself to use them anymore. And I will have more room for my makeup. All right, everyone, I'll give you one more look of my face. I decided to leave my hair kind of flat and, you know, just let you see what the makeup looks like. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, definitely leave that below. And here is a zoom in once again of my makeup. There are my brows and my eyes. My lashes my cheeks and my lips Ta -da! <laughs> all right everyone thank you so much for sticking with me to the end and i will see you tomorrow with the next face of the day bye